also Blade Baca. Okie dokie, Galactic Legends going to drop tomorrow, so I figured I better fucking catch up on some GAC videos. I am three behind still, and I want to be making videos pretty much all day tomorrow if I can for Galactic Legends, so let's get them the fuck out of the way. I don't even know who I'm facing in this video. Um... We'll find out soon. Uh, so yeah, Galactic Legends going to drop tomorrow. I have hoarded a fucking metric shit ton of stuff. Uh, materials, gear, relic, relic materials, um, Zetas. Uh, I got, I think I have a f handful of mods that I can 6e depending on what i end up modding uh the either or both of these galactic legendaries provided i can even unlock them tomorrow i genuinely don't know um i made a up an updated roster review video um that i put out today oh this is against blue die jedi um so i I made a, an updated roster review, self-roster review video per uh, a sub's suggestion, and I posted it on Reddit, and I said something to the effect of, um, genuinely hope that I can do this tomorrow, and everybody thought I was taking a piss. Everyone thought I was trolling when I said, genuinely hope I can do this tomorrow. I wasn't being fucking facetious, man. I was being dead ass. I genuinely hope that I can do this tomorrow. Um, I'm supposed to be working from home, so I'm definitely going to be multitasking tomorrow. Um, I've been multitasking this week, working from home, watching Naked and Afraid, and doing work on my iPad, which is frustrating. Um, so instead of Naked and Afraid tomorrow, it'll be work on my iPad and trying to battle and record Galactic Legendaries. Since we're all cooped up, I got a great fucking captive audience. All you suckers out there that watch me day in, day out. Uh, but seriously, I love you guys. So that is presumably what I will be spending the better part of my day on tomorrow. So again, I'm catching up on GAC videos now. Not sure if I'm going to release these GAC videos uh, immediately or relatively immediately. Um, I may just throw one, maybe this one I'll throw out there um, just so there's something, I guess, to watch. Uh, although I guess most people are kind of going to be thirsting for any GL videos, so maybe I'll just record it now like I'm doing and then table it for later. Uh, who knows? Who cares? I just got to get it done one way or the other. So I have hoarded Zetas, like I said, Zetas, Relic Mats, Relic Salvage, whatever. Um, some Mod Mats, Slicing Mats. Um, yeah, I haven't relic any of the required tunes beyond their requirement levels. I am going to sort of play it by ear and see how each level of the events um, stack up. I'm going to, you know, take a little bit of inventory before I actually battle because we're going to be using... Uh, uh, attempt tickets which I also have to farm tomorrow whenever that opens up so like for instance if you know one of the battles I have to go in there with my veteran smuggler Han and veteran smuggler Chewbacca uh, who both of whom are I believe relic three but have shitty fucking mods 
then maybe I will remod and or relic them a little bit. We'll see. Um, cause I don't want to, you know, max everybody out right now. Whoops. And then I come back and tomorrow, um, I've wasted all those mats and I have nothing for the actual galactic legendaries themselves. So I'll be playing all of that by ear. Um, I'm probably going to, if, if I can do a bunch of levels in the Galactic Legendary events all in more or less one shot, I will, and, and it's under an hour or under 45 minutes, I will certainly release all of those. If each one takes me like 10, 15 minutes a piece, then I, I honestly, I don't really feel like sitting there waiting for my phone to process an hour long video because that takes a very long time uh, on YouTube. So I'll probably try to release them to the extent I can in 10, 15, 20 minute increments. Um, again, we have no idea how long or how short it's going to take me. I genuinely have no idea. I have no inside information on that. Um, I mean, for all we know, I, it could be over, the whole thing could be over in 15 minutes. I really don't know. Someone on Reddit, I believe, said that CG had previously indicated that the hardest part of the events were going to be meeting the requirements. But I don't know how much faith I put in that. Even if CG did, in fact, say that, CG also did, in fact, at one point say that not all the requirement characters were going to need relics. And I don't know if you've looked, but they do. So, yeah, not going to put too much faith in something that CG may have said at... Uh, one point or another. I don't think that that is prudent. Not the best idea. So I'm going to do what I can. Hopefully I can get them. Um, I don't want it to be easy. Uh, I don't want it to be easy. Because that would be fucking boring and anticlimactic after... I mean, we first heard about these things in December, right? It's now March, I think, still. Yeah, it's still March. So it's been, you know, three months. I don't want to have waited three months and farmed all this shit and spent all this money to blow my load in 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I very purposely used that um, turn of phrase. So... Yeah, I do hope it is difficult. If it's like a gas level difficulty, I'm good with that. If it's a malic level difficulty, I'm good with that. Even maybe a little bit harder, I'm good with that. It should be. Um, I don't want it to be a cakewalk. If it's like assault battle level difficulty, that's perfect. I am happy with that. If it's light side GOTB level difficulty, insofar as it is extremely RNG dependent, will probably be less happy about that. Uh, well, it's RNG dependent and um, to the extent that you can actually field enough teams. Um, so if it's LSGOTB difficulty, I will be not so thrilled. If it is challenge tier two of the new assault battles, then I will be happy because I think that those are, for the most part, a very appropriate level of difficulty. I think the, is it the Night, which one was it? Night Sister one? I think the Night Sister one was the hardest one, right? Yeah, yeah, that was the hardest one. That one was very, very difficult, but even that I think might have been an appropriate level of difficulty had I maybe reliced a couple more of the sisters or, well, I ended up beating it because I moved some mods around and ultimately got lucky a couple times but um yeah or maybe the uh endor ewok you know where you have to use droids and or empire 
I'd be okay with that level of difficulty. Those those are, are um, appropriate. So we will see. Time will tell. Uh, we don't quite know. Ooh, excuse me, it's late here. And I'm bored shitless because I've been in my... I think I've left my apartment maybe three times in the last week. Not including smoke breaks on my balcony. So I have very little concept of date or time. Um, so we know CG don't like to release anything until they get to the office. However, everyone's telecommuting anyway. So what does that mean for timing? By the way, this guy, Blue Die Jedi, puts a maxed GG fleet, and it is glorious. I've never faced a maxed one um, in arena. Certainly not in TW. Um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this maxed GG fleet. It is far and away leaps and bounds better than a six star. Obviously, it shouldn't be that surprising, but I severely underestimated it, and I'm actually okay with having lost because I actually learned quite a bit, um, which I haven't lost yet, but you'll see. Um, so, yeah, CG generally don't release an event or a new tune until they get to the office, which is, you know, eight or nine in the morning Pacific time, which for me is noon. So they generally will release something at around lunchtime, my time, or, or maybe shortly before. Um, but everyone's telecommuting. So what does that mean in terms of the release timing? Not, I don't even know the answer to that. I literally just thought of that uh, while recording this here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it is somewhere like 3, 4, 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Because um, they'll probably push the update live. I'm sure there'll be some packs. Maybe we can buy attempt tickets. I wouldn't even hate that because I generally hate farming stuff. Um, so I wouldn't hate that. I mean, I wouldn't want you to be able to buy them ad infinitum, but I wouldn't hate being able to buy a handful here, there, or whatever. Um, so yeah, time will tell, but I'm excited. Uh, it's the first time I've been excited since the GOTB was announced, really. Um the dark side GOTB because light side GOTB is an abortion it's so fucking hard that's what she said um I think by the way Ma Ma 1 got 23 stars again in light side GOTB um yeah so we're at a what is that this total of 36 right so we're just under 66%. <laughs> kind of like all my high school scores, man. Um, yeah, so that's where I am at. Um, corona is a bitch. I'm ready for corona to be over. The president seems to think that we're going to be all back to work and the economy will be ready to go by Easter. I'm no doctor, but I think that that is a little bit on the ambitious side. Although I totally understand wanting to get the economy back on its feet. Uh, we got to do it in a safe way, especially because Easter, everyone's going to be crammed into churches. And I don't think that that is following social distancing. Um, social distancing is easy for me because I'm a fucking recluse and I do not like people. But for normal people who do want to go to church with their families, that could present uh, an issue for them. So we definitely don't want people to get sick and we don't want a second wave of the virus coming around. Uh, the United States Navy is sending the USNS Comfort here to New York City. She is due here in about two weeks. That big Bertha girl has a thousand beds. 
which is really cool. And it's not the first time she's been here in New York City. She was last here in the aftermath of 9-11. So in a way, sort of a bittersweet thing to see the USNS Comfort back in New York Harbor. USNS Mercy headed to Los Angeles Harbor. Uh, We're going to get through it. Uh, I don't think, again, I'm not a doctor, don't think that uh, Easter Sunday is a realistic timeline. I think maybe slightly more arbitrarily, uh, May May 1st, early May, maybe Mother's Day. Uh, I think that, I think, again, not a doctor. I feel like you got to give it at least a good six weeks, man. I just... I don't know. But yet again, time will tell.